You are absolutely gonna love this one. I have three killer, no pun intended, concepts that I wanna share with you if you got kids, if you know kids, if you're a grandparent, kids and backyards, how do you put these things together, make it flow, and that everybody gets to hang out and have a good time? I'm gonna show you, this is awesome. What's up, I'm Bobby Kay, I'm a professional landscape designer and general contractor, and I love kids, I got two myself, they are my world. I get it, man, if you got kids, they're, they do, they're your life, right? But they put stuff everywhere and they mess everything up. So how do you, let's just put the inside off to the side for now, because if you saw mine, it's like a bomb of Toys R Us went off, if that's even around anymore. But the point is, your backyard doesn't have to suffer as much. So I wanna give you out three killer concepts by going through different templates and different pictures and different ideas, and I'm gonna fire off tips and show you how you can make your backyard really cool so that you can enjoy it and the kids can enjoy it, and it still looks great from afar. And if you ever wanna take these elements out, it's like an easy fix, and you don't have to like just go through, you know, heck. All right, I really love this first one because in past videos, I have harped on stuff like this. You know, I'm starting to come around. It's a chalkboard in the backyard, but you know what I love about it is, it keeps the kids busy. <laughs> <laughs> while you're doing stuff, while you're hanging out. It's like, come on, man, just leave me alone. Get out of here. <laughs> then they could go do this. So, you know, I was like, man, that looks bad. I don't like it on the fence. Here's how you make it cool. You see this one? It's black. See the fence? It's black. So it doesn't stand out as much. You know what? This works. Also, say you wanted to watch movies in the backyard. What's who, Who's to say you can't put one of those projector screens like mounted on the fence and then have that thing drop down and you don't even see the chalkboard. So when you're hanging out with the kids, you got the chalkboard, but when you have people over, you drop down the screen, they don't even know it's there. That's an easy one. So it's called hiding your stuff. Kids love sand, they love to play. You ever taken a kid to the beach? They eat sand. What the? Like seriously, first time I ever took my daughter there, she just started scarfing this stuff. Then we just took my son to Michigan. He starts eating sand. I don't get it, whatever. But if you want kids to eat sand, put a sandbox in. Here's the kicker. You don't have to see it. How cool is this? This little trap door where the deck is. Bam, done. Don't even know it's there. I hate these. <laughs> but you know what? If you are gonna have a trampoline and you don't want it above the ground, I have seen people dig these things out and put it in. Here's what I wanna to point to, and I alluded to this at the very beginning of the video. When you are ready to take this thing out, this is a perfect dugout section for a sunken fire pit, a really cool destination that you can use in the future. So, your first killer concept is hiding stuff. All right, the next killer concept it's playground stuff, obviously. I mean, come on, man. Did you really think we could go through this video without showing a bunch of playground stuff? But let's show it in a way that's cool and it's not as obvious and it doesn't take up the whole yard. First one, I love this. This is really cool and we can get clever with this. These climbing walls, I think are something really fun for the kids to play around with and fall and break their arm. <laughs> Just kidding, but they are cool. Here's the cool part. You see how it's got this like pergola effect going on. All right, what if you were to do an outdoor structure and on the backside of a privacy wall of a structure, you put those. So all of a sudden, what'd you just do? You got a destination for you to hang and watch TV and hang out with your friends. And on the backside could be the kids area where they're climbing, they've got their playground stuff. You're separating those two elements. So just off looking at this picture, we can get clever with combining it with the structure, a pergola or an outdoor space. Very cool. The second one, this is your typical playground setup, right? A million people get these, they set them up, they're there, and then the kids get bored after like two years and it sits there for another like five or six years and then you finally take a chainsaw to the thing or you try and sell it or have an uncle come over and break it down who's gonna use it but never does, you know, that kind of situation. But it looks really nice, right? These people probably have a big enough yard to have one this big. I would say get one that fits your space and clean it up. 
the nice edging around there to hold in the mulch or rock or not rock, but like rubber, like whatever, to find the space, clean it up, try and put it off in a section of the yard, not right in the middle to take up a bunch of real estate. And I think you're gonna be good to go. Let's go to the last one. Never seen this, thought this was really cool, worth sharing. And I thought, you know what? That looks really fun. How about a hillside landscape, but we combine it for a couple years. We've got a platform, almost like a tree house for the kids, and you got the climbing wall and the slide going down. Here's the thing, later in life, when the kids are done with this, and you're obviously not going to sell your house with something like this, or maybe you will, but you take it out, this looks pretty easy to break down. So you've got the hillside landscaping, and you got this at one time, but later in life, you can take it out and you still have the beautiful hillside landscape. I just thought this was really clever and something that you could probably put into your arsenal of kid-friendly stuff. I'm loving this one right here. Okay, so our next killer concept is gonna be like separate destinations. You kind of get the feeling that I'm at that stage in life where I'm like, oh my gosh, will they just stop? I am. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. If you've been there, you know that's where I'm at. So I'm living this with you. Here you go. First picture. I'm going to call this upper level. The reason being is this is awesome. This is so clever. Why? Because you are separating the area where more than likely you're going to be hanging on the lower level. You could have a synthetic putting green there. You could have a patio outside of this picture. And what's going on? The kids are up there away yelling, screaming, what's that little Billy? Oh, I, I can't hear you, I'm, I'm, no, no, just figure it out. You know, it's that kind of thing, awesome. They're up there, you're down there, separate. Think about your yard, you got some elevations or you got a big enough space, put them over here and you're over there. It's great, all right. So I'm going against myself right here. This is a fire pit area and it's very close to the playground probably because this is a smaller yard, but still it is a defined space, which is really cool. Leads you right there, the adults sit there, and if they don't hate their kids, I love my kids, I'm so, I'm bad today. They're playing right there. So you can keep an eye on them, you can hang out, you can hear their screams. It's great, it's awesome. Okay, next one. If we're going back to, maybe we can put them over there and we can be here. I'm gonna call this a cozy little nest. See how this thing is tucked away in the back for conversation, or maybe there's a sandbox back there and that's like where the kids are hanging while you're on the other side or a little bit off in the distance and you can see what's going on, but you can't really. Maybe they'll break an arm, maybe they won't, but you know what, That's you're rolling the dice, baby. That's how it goes. But you're also separating your areas, which is really cool. So you got this guy over here and you're over here and I love it, I think that all three of these work and that is your killer concept tray. Make sure you enter the contest, super cool. I'm giving away stuff, guys. Go down in the description below, click on it, go fill it out and you're entered. And I do these every single month. This is something that's going on now. So get in there. You gotta subscribe, you gotta hit the alarm bell so you know when they're happening, but it's so worth it, trust me. And if you wanna keep the party going, you wanna watch another video, go check out this one right here. This video is just packed with the mistakes that we made on a project that I don't want you to do. It is an absolute banger, like 400,000 views because I just throw myself under the bus. Okay, this is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you on the next video.